<clears throat> Hi, I'm Patrick from Sony. I'm here today to talk to you about one of my favorite types of photography, macro photography. If you want to try some macro photography yourself, there's two essential pieces of gear that you'll need, a DSLR body and a macro lens. As far as DSLR cameras go, any one of our Sony Alpha bodies can be used for macro photography, but quickly becoming one of my favorite cameras to use for macro photography is the Alpha 550. There's several different reasons why the Alpha 550 is one of my favorite cameras to, to use for macro photography. One of those reasons is for a feature called the Manual Focus Check Live View, which is in the Alpha 500 and the 550. Basically, with this mode on, I can choose to zoom into any region in my frame to make sure that my focus is right. So in this case, I want to zoom in those stomata, make sure that everything is really sharp. To even get more pinpoint accuracy in my autofocus, I can zoom up to 14 times just to make sure that everything is perfect. Once I'm done that, I have the camera on a two second shutter. I just push the shutter button there, two seconds, then click. My perfectly in focus picture. Another reason why the Alpha 550 is one of my favorite cameras to use for macro photography is its high resolution 921,000 pixel screen. So with this high resolution screen, when I'm playing back a picture, I can see everything in great detail. Even when I zoom in, I can make sure that all everything is in focus and that all my detail is captured. Another reason why this screen is so perfectly suited to macro photography is its variable angle. So if I'm shooting at an extreme angle like I have now, instead of breaking my back to go above it or go below it, I can change the angle of the screen. So I, I can flip it this way or I can even flip it down so I can see it clearly. Now that we talked about the DSLR bodies a bit, now let's talk about some of the lenses. We have three different lenses available for macro shooting. The 100mm 2.8 macro, the 50mm 2.8, and the newly announced 30mm 2.8 macro. With so many different macro lenses out there, I'm sure you're asking yourself, what's the differences between them and which one's right for me? One of the major differences between these three lenses is this minimum focusing distance or how close you can actually get to your subject. For example, this 100mm 2.8 macro has a minimum focusing distance of 0.352 meters or 1.16 feet. The 50mm 2.8 macro has a minimum focusing distance of 0.2 meters or 7.9 inches. The 30mm 2.8 macros are close-up champion. It has a minimum focusing distance of 0.129 meters or 5.1 inches. The second major difference between these macro lenses is an effect called perspective. The easiest way to explain what perspective is to you is to show you what each lens does when taking a picture of the same thing. In the next few examples, a picture of this flower will be taken with these three flowers in the background. Just take notice of what happens to the three flowers in the background. This first picture here is taken by the 30mm macro shot at f22. Uh, if you take a notice that the three flowers in the background as opposed to the front one, they look farther away and they're a little bit smaller. This is a great way to single out that one flower in the front by making the other plant, uh, flowers behind it look farther away. The second picture here is taken by the 50mm 2.8 macro, also shot at f22. If you notice the three flowers behind the main flower, they've come closer now and um, are almost the same size as the main flower. A cool fact about the 50mm lens is that it sees the world the same way your eyes do. So if you wanted to capture a scene the same way that your eyes saw it, the 50mm is a great lens to choose. This last picture here is taken by the 100mm 2.8 macro, also at f22. Now if you take a look at the three flowers in the background, you can see they are much larger in the picture and they look like they're right behind the um, main subject there, that main flower that we've uh, focused on. Um, this is great if you wanted to show that that main flower is in the bunch uh, with a bunch of other flowers or if you want to show a subject right behind uh, or right in front of something else, then the 100mm is a perfect lens to choose.